These are two articles that just came out. This one came out two days ago. 75% decline in the past 27 years in Europe of the flying insect biomass in protected areas. You'd expect to see bees declining in industrial areas. These are in protected areas. We're seeing a 75% decline in the, in the past three decades. That's huge. The entomologists, which I've become very close friends with a, several great scientists, they would tell me they have a certain country road that they will go out with their students, their graduate students. The same time of year, every year, and they drive down the road, 55, 60 miles an hour, and they look at a mile marker, and they put out their net. It's a really cool idea. And they, then they sweep you know, the air as they're going down the freeway for 10 miles. And they pointed out something to me. Paul, do you remember when you used to drive on the, on the freeway, you get bug splatter all over your windshields? You're not getting that now. So that's what they're seeing. There's nets that were collecting hundreds of insects are now collecting tens of insects. So we're seeing this all across the entire world. These scientific studies now are, are showing this. And another one that was quite surprising is the rising atmospheric levels of carbon dioxide is reducing the protein concentration of floral pollen that's essential for bees. The goldenrod has lost 30% of its protein content uh, because the goldenrod is not cultivated. It's a wild quote unquote weed. The Smithsonian Institute has seeds. They're able to analyze uh, the pollen and, the, and, and from these the, the seeds uh, in previous years. And we have now, because of global CO2 rise, a massive uh, deprotonization de de um, uh, of the nutrition of, of uh, wild pollen.